document signed more than a century ago shaped Minnesota as we know it and changed the lives of the people who first called this land home. You might not realize that reminder is on display every day at the state capitol. Why do treaties matter? Good question. Jeff Wagner learned the generational impact they've had for Native Americans. The walls of the Minnesota Capitol are filled with history lessons about our state. And tucked down a hallway on the third floor is an opportunity to learn how Minnesota came to be and what that meant for tribal nations more than 100 years ago all the way to today. It's an exhibit called Why Treaties Matter. These lands are our ancestral lands. Shannon Gishik is Ojibwe and the executive director of the Minnesota Indian Affairs Council. What is the significance of having this exhibit here? I think that the general public doesn't really understand that treaties are living documents. They are relevant today. And so it's a testimony of the state government acknowledging that the treaties are alive and that they are the supreme law of the land. Treaties are legal agreements between countries or nations. Before Minnesota came to be, the land belonged to the Dakota and Ojibwe tribal nations. The U.S. government would sign treaties with them to acquire their land, often in exchange for money, services like education and health care, and reservations. Oftentimes, by the time we got um, what we were promised, it wasn't all there. The treaties allowed a young America to grow as farming, lumber, and other industries flourished on the obtained lands. Dozens of them were signed in the 1800s in Minnesota. This map shows the dates for 10 of the treaties. The green and red portions show the areas that currently belong to the tribal nations that signed them. However, Ojibwe and Dakota people still retain certain rights in the surrounding land they ceded. Actually, why treaties matter is because of her. It's because of her, so she has access to be able to hunt and fish, and so she has access to our life ways and being able to speak our language. Bonjour. Thank you. <laughs> Those rights, such as fishing free of state regulation, have been challenged over the years in the very building where the exhibit is displayed, but the treaties and their binding words have prevailed. We want to be able to, to live as our ancestors did. We want to be able to pass down our cultures and our traditions. Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News. Why Treaties Matter is located on the third floor of the state capitol next to the exhibit hall. It is free to the public and there's also a virtual version that you can view online and you can find that at wcco.com links.